it gets warmed up. Mel, 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 mel. Damn, that exhaust is too quiet. <laughs> I can hear Barney over my bike. That ready? on Millie awesome Barney's running great Millie's having a ball Right now, we're just riding around our, our own little neighborhood here, uh, so Mel can get used to the bike again. It's mid-April, and we just had snow and crappy rain and shitty cold weather for the past, I don't know, two or three weeks. So no matter how much we wanted to get out and ride, it was just crap. And then I got moved to nights at work. And my sleep schedule was all screwed up, so I couldn't sleep and I had to work at night. So what I, I, what I did was I put Melly's bike back together. It was four marathon days of working, but it all paid off. It's back together, it's running great. The tack works, the new LED turn signals work. New tires, new tubes, new rim strips. By the way, it's the first time I ever got to ride my damn freaking Indian since I bought it. <laughs> well, Mel forgot to cancel her signal. I won't tell her. Let's see how long she notices. Oh, excuse me. Hey Mel, I'm gonna lead now, okay? Melly does better when I'm leading because then she feels like she has to keep up. And she worries less about her and paying more attention to riding. I gotta say, A, Barney looks awesome, and B, Melly looks awesome riding Barney. They are made for each other. All the little bits and pieces that we've picked out and put on the bike really makes the bike look cool as hell. It's hard to believe it's a rebel. <laughs> hey Mel, I'm gonna go to Kroger because I don't know how much gas is in the in the bike. Yours is full. I can't tell you how awesome it is to have your wife not only enjoy the stuff that you enjoy, but, you know, it's very scary for most women. They aren't really, it's not that they can't do things with uh, mechanical stuff. They're just never really brought up around it. And Molly was no exception. So, you know, she was a little intimidated by the bike. But uh, now that she's gotten over all that, she just loves it. And it's very liberating. She, uh, she enjoys it so much. How's it riding? It it turns in better, doesn't it? You look badass. <laughs> I think the bike's even running better. So today, the Indian dealer where I bought what we're affectionately calling Bert. Melly's kind of gotten into the naming bikes thing. 
uh, we named Ginger to speed for her as a joke because it's orange and uh, my buddy Dell calls orange Ginger and has an aversion to orange. Um, and I'm too cheap to repaint it, so I just kind of embraced the horror and named the bike Ginger. Melly named her bike Barney because it's purple, like the horrible purple dinosaur from the kids' TV show. And so we came up, well, A, the bike had to be named, and it got named Bert uh, in honor of Bert Monroe in the world's fastest Indian. Yeah, it may seem a little obvious, but I don't care. The best part isn't me riding my Indian. <laughs> the best part's watching you ride Barney. Mel, 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 Mel. The bigger front tire up there not only looks cooler, but uh, it doesn't bump steer like the smaller uh, tire did. And I think it's because there's more rotating mass. It makes it a little bit more gyroscopically stabilized. I'd say that like I know what the hell I'm talking about. We'll get some melee riding. You know what's sad is my my Indian's factory exhaust is so muffled. Melly's Honda Revel 250 is actually louder right now than my bike. I definitely gotta get new pipes. I don't want obnoxiously loud, but damn it, they have to be louder than a 250 Revel that's 30 years old. Also trying uh, this stuff called Ride On on Melly's bike. So we didn't have to put wheel, weld, wheel weights on it. And it's a tire sealant and a hydrodynamically balancing fluid all rolled into one. And let me tell you, first impressions are awesome. <laughs> you good? Hey, Mel? Mel? <laughs> Mel, 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 Mel. Still good? So cool. Punch. <laughs> Melly. Riding side by side is always better. She's doing an awesome job of holding her lane too. Doing good. You doing good? I'm cold. <laughs> okay. We'll see about. We'll head over to the Spartan Cycle, and then you can warm up.
at it. Is that a Revel for sale? Why, yes it is. <laughs> Sorry, pal, we got a cooler one. How you doing, man? <laughs> it's a built well. Uh, you guys got chaps that'll fit her? <laughs> I don't think I have any women chaps. It was a little chilly riding down Jefferson. Was it? You need to get a little meat on How do you like a Revel, Gary? <laughs> It's kind of bobbered. It's getting there. Well, I'm actually going to put a front fender on it. I had to get one from a shadow. It's on order. Okay. The bobber thing's a little bit overdone, but it's getting there. Let's roll. Mel, 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 mel. Mel, 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 You've been like, I've been ready for 10 minutes, man. What the hell? It's all the camera gear. Pain in the ass. <sighs> Rabbit. Should be good. <laughs> you warmer now? <laughs> <laughs> mel, 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 mel. <laughs> I know she does it because she knows it cracks me up. So lesson from today is we got to get Millie uh, some chaps and probably a backpack to put extra stuff in. Or, you know what, I could do another tool roll on the front forks, maybe. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> like a pro. It was like bullshit. <laughs> Best day ever, right? <laughs> I can see myself in your So Barney crapped out its crankshaft seal behind stator. And Millie's getting in there, taking the stator cover off to find out just how bad it is. Uh, we got all the parts on order, but the tool to remove the flywheel has not come in yet. Just got a couple more bolts there and it's off. Just that one last one. Yep. What? Well, they're all broken loose, right? You just gotta... Mm -hmm. I don't think I broke that one loose. No, I, we couldn't get to it because the, uh, the peg was in the way. Okay. Well, technically, it is a 30-year-old bike, so, I mean, you didn't really break it. And from everything I've read on the Honda Rebel forums uh, seems to be a pretty common thing for these Rebels to crap out their crank seal. Uh -huh. 
when the breather becomes plugged, that I think that's uh, that's debatable too because I know people with new bikes on the forum have had this problem. But we're going to fix it permanently because we're going to spike peen the damn seal in place after we get it installed. And yank the cover off. If I can. It's going to be on there pretty good. I don't think it's ever been off. I'll hold the bike. I'm going to have to get you some prying device. Make a hammer fist and pop it from the top down. <laughs> Are you serious? All right, let me get you a hammer. Hold on. Here's hammer time, Mel. <laughs> da, 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 da. Good, good. One whack. The only thing I should be holding that on is this the the seal, the gasket. I'm gonna have to get a pry bar out. It's moving. It's moving. Is it? I think that it's moving off the starter, but the plate's not separating. Let me get something to pry with. Give it a pry. It's the first time that ever that cover's ever been off in 30 years now. Come over on this side here, yeah, and pry at it. Because that that plate needs to stay flat so we can't just yank it off. Plus, I don't think that backing plate will come off without the, the flywheel coming off. Just work your way around it and I'll just pry real hard on one side. Spill See all that oil? It's, it's spilling its guts. Yeah, all that oil ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> the, the stator side of the engine's supposed to be dry. That's why there's an oil seal. It actually, the gasket doesn't go all the way around. There's a space at the bottom. Like a surgeon. Hey! Prying for the very first time. <laughs> Is it hung up at the bottom? Well, this um, wire harness here. Pull it out of the, um, it's just pushed into the engine there. See it up at the top? Yeah, mm -hmm. where that grommet is? See if you can wiggle that out. It's probably stuck in there good because it's, good. it's never been out. There it goes. <laughs> Should pull straight off, not at an angle. Because the, the, the stator's inside of the, the, the flywheel. There you go. Keep pulling straight. Mwah. All right. Mwah. Well, there's an oh, oil everywhere. Brains. All right. Um, <laughs> Ew. That can probably hang from the wires, but uh, let me get it. I've got a small bungee. Let's hang mm -hmm. it from a bungee. Yeah. Just hook it through that, and then just um, here you can hook it on, just like that. That cover is all scratched and beat the hell anyhow, so it's going to get powder coated. It's just so it's not resting entirely from the wire. There you go. All that gasket material we have to clean off of that. But you can see right here, the gasket discontinues and there's a little zigzag. Mm -hmm. That's actually supposed to be a weep oil, a weep hole for oil. Mm -hmm. Well, good news is, is that the magnets are in good shape. I don't see any damage. I don't see any damage on the stator uh, itself. So this is the flywheel, okay. Um, huh, look at the tooling marks. It's, looks like someone's been in here before. Well, with that chain in the way, it's gonna be impossible to tell um, from just looking at it. I mean, obviously the seal's gone. So we need to remove this nut here and then use a tool to take the flywheel off but uh, we have to put a strap wrench on that and we need the special motion pro tool that is used to remove the flywheel this little chain and sprocket this is your starter mm -hmm. and when it engages it'll turn the engine in one direction but when the motor takes over it'll start spinning faster than this chain because this will stop when you stop actually that's just slid on there um, so there's, it's a, it's a one-way bearing assembly. That's the starter clutch, because it's, it's probably never been changed. I have a new one, but uh, yeah. So this will come off. We'll take all this crap off. Then this black backing plate will come off, and then we'll have to clean the ga uh, gasket uh, 
well not the gasket, we'll have to clean the face of it. Um, but that's it for now, that's about how, how, all the farther we can go. You did drain the oil out already, and we know that there was still oil in the crankcase. So we aren't missing, I mean, we caught it early enough, there isn't any damage. I don't see any damage from the stator. It was making a rattling noise there for a little while. That was just because the cams were starting to dry out, but we caught it right there at Gross Point, so we got to leave a giant oil slick right in the middle of snooty USA, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mel. Well, at this point, we just have to wait for parts because we can't take that flywheel off there until we get the tool to do it. These are neodymium magnets in here, and when this spins around, that magnetic field is picked up by the little individual coils, and that creates an AC signal. Uh, I don't exactly know how many volts. I'd have to look in the manual. And then that wire that comes out of there goes up, and it goes into the R&R, the regulator and rectifier. So it will take that AC, it'll rectify it out to DC, and then it will regulate it at about 13 and a half volts to charge the battery. And that's where the juice comes from to charge the battery and to run the bike. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, well, gets to wait till parts come. Okay. <laughs> and then Varney will be back on the road. See that, that bit in there, can't really point to it too well. That's the uh, little plastic box is the oil separator, and I bought a new one of those. My guess is either that tube that comes up off the top of the engine there is plugged. <laughs> CRI. Goober. I think I just got oil on my hair. You got oil on your hair? I probably did. I heard motor oil is a good conditioner. It'll be soft and silky smooth. All right, well, till we get parts. Peace out. I'd get it one piece at a time, and it wouldn't cost me a dime. You'll know it's me when I come through your town. I'm going to ride around in style. I'm going to drive everybody wild, because I'll have the only one there.